Grade 8 Math number 15.2D, create a two-way frequency table. Categorical data, that's info or data in categories, can be organized and analyzed by using frequency tables and two-way frequency tables to show the frequency for each category or category pair. Now, in the previous video, the categorical data was t-shirt color preferences, and the variable had three possible data values red, blue, and green. And we had started out by making a frequency table and it showed that out of the red ones there were 15 sold, blue ones are 25, and green were 10, and for shirts sold we could have 50. And that would just be a regular frequency table. A two-way frequency table has two categorical, categorical data values. See? So now we have red, blue, and green and female and male that it was sold to. See, we added another bit of information, another bit of data, another category, okay? So the frequency table listed the frequency of each value of that single variable shirt sold. See, it's just the shirt sold, the color. If we have two categorical variables whose values have been paired, we list the frequencies of the paired values in a two-way frequency table. So our table is grown from this to this because we added another category, male or female, the gender. By adding another categorical variable of gender, male or female, we can analyze more information. The first thing we do is we find the totals for each gender by adding the frequencies in each row. Female is 10 plus 15 plus 5, that's 30. And male is 5 and 10 and 5, that's 20. And we can add these going across, 15, 25, and 10 is 50. And we find the totals for each color by adding the frequencies of each column. Red is 10, 5, that makes 15. Blue is 15 and 10, that makes 25. And green is 5 and 5, that makes 10. And then we can do the column totals. 30 and 20 is 50. We find that grand total for the colors and the gender that will equal the total sold. And we write it in this lower right-hand corner, down here in this bottom corner. See? So you notice how this one had one line because it had one category. This one's got two coming across this way with a total. See that? And if the totals are different between color and gender, then we know we made a mistake somewhere. We have to go back and fix it, okay? Now, there's something I want you to take a note on, and I want you to know the difference between, between categorical data and quantitative data. Categorical data is defined by words and has a limited number of answer options like what color is your shirt? What color is your hair? What color is your backpack? Quantitative data, it's numerical. It's a number that measures a particular characteristic like how much do you weigh? How much does your backpack weigh? See? So that's a number and that is putting it into a category of blue shirts. See? Now, if you're really, really confused about all this frequency and relative frequency and two-way relative frequency, you need to go back and watch video number 15.2a and there's a link in the description and it compares them all on one board side by side, okay? And that might really help you. We're going to move on and we're going to talk about how to create a two-way relative frequency table, okay? Then after that, we're just going to analyze the information that we've learned, and then that's the end of 8th grade math, okay? So I hope I'll see you in 15.2e. We're almost done. Bye.